So we came out fast and furious on the motorcycle. And uh, it's just uh, Highway 484 West uh, from the villages. Just take it a straight away across uh, 200 there. And uh, I just want to show you the sign. Let's get it on the, uh, the video here. We are at Blue Run of Dunludden Park. Okay. Now, believe it or not, I found this by accident. And uh, I'll just kind of show you where we're going to go. There's one of my brothers on a motorcycle. And uh, the trail kind of goes down this way. It's a paved trail. I'm tired of the bug bites, man. I just can't get back on the trails at this time of year, even though we're come bumping up on October. <clears throat> so we're going to walk down there. And you'll notice uh, down here, there's some wonderful kayaking in this in this area. I see people here all the time. And we're going to find out about that because I'm going to go up and talk to them. I got to get my helmet off and then we'll get going. So this is what the excitement's all about. Uh, it's the with I'm not even going to try to pronounce that river. And uh, you can see a bunch of people coming up. Uh, and boy, I tell you, this is a very popular place. Uh, if you've got a kayak and you live in the villages or uh, whatever, this would be a wonderful place to come. I'm going to go down and get the, uh, the river on the video. Um, don't want to get any faces or anything, but uh, let's, uh, let's just get a look at the river. So this is what the excitement's about. And this is the river right here. And uh, I asked them, I said, Are you, do you ever worry about... Now, now she did say there's otters in here and the um, manatees come up in here. So I, I guess it's just a wonderful place to swim and visit. Uh, but let's get on the hike. You know, that's what I'm all about, the hiking. But I just thought I'd show you this because this is kind of a little ramp that comes down to the river. And uh, everybody seems to enjoy it very much. And I... They're not worried about the gators. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe I'll come back here, but look how clear that water is. Didn't that look beautiful? Kind of looks like Silver Springs a little bit. All right, let's get going. So I wanted to get this on the video. Um, this, of course, shows the, uh, the trail. You got the Sand Hill Loop Trail here, the Blue Run Trail. And, uh, of course, we are right here. So I guess we're getting ready to do the Blue Run Trail. Now, believe it or not, now this, this is CRC CR 484. And of course the city of Dunledden is that way. Um, but we're gonna, we're actually, I think a portion of this is actually the Florida Trail. So I think I'm knocking out another portion of the Florida Trail. Let's get going. So we're just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the dumbest sign you danger do not feed or molest the gators <laughs> alligators can't be tamed by feeding them imagine that oh boy you know if i hadn't read that sign i would have never known that <laughs> so i just kind of wanted to get you going on the first part of the trail here uh you could see i mean it's a great place to come and ride a bicycle uh it's a nice paved trail here in dunludden and uh it's going to be a whole day. We're going to we're going to be out here quite some time. There's a little lizard over here on the right. Uh, so this is going to be good. Uh, we'll, we'll get up here to this sign and then I'll uh, get another clip uh, later on. But uh, let's uh, let's see what the sign has to say. <clears throat> but uh, and then of course you got a a pond over here. You know with the trail going down to that and there's a little bench there. You know with the and they even got a trash can. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's uh, let's read the sign here. You know, the arrival of the railroads in 1887 and the discovery of phosphate in 1889 by Albertus Volk transformed Dunludden into an agricultural economy, into a railroad hub for the transport of timber, limestone, produce, cargo phosphate for many phosphate pits surrounding Dunludden. By 1900, Dunludden had become a boom town. So that's kind of, I'll let you read the rest on your own. Let's, uh, let's get a close up here. You can, uh, well, you can pause right there and you can pause right there. And boy, then look at this. You can, you can pause right there and you can pause right there. So, um, 
yeah this is uh this is gonna be a cool day looking forward to it man i got boy i had to i had to get out and uh i mean i but guess what the phone's back to go on welcome to bixby <laughs> if you follow my channel welcome to bixby I, I don't know who the hell bixby is but i tell you what if i could punch him in the nose i certainly would but i had to get out a uh, long motorcycle ride to get here um wonderful man i was fast and furious man i i tell you what when you're doing 60 65 70 miles an hour on a motorcycle that it, uh it's a liberating experience that uh i just can't recommend enough and uh and then to come out and just hike through the forest uh on a nice paved trail where the the bugs aren't going to eat me alive uh, now we may try I'll, I'll i'll show you when we get down here because i've already i've already hiked this once this portion of this trail and uh we're gonna make the we're gonna make a left up here okay um and that goes down to the florida trail and uh you know we've already attacked it from pruitt and we were coming down uh 480 i think it's well, west 484 we were hiked down that one day and uh course i got caught in the rain and everything else now today the reason i rode the motorcycle is for once for once it's like almost a zero percent chance of rain <laughs> the weather dog's probably wrong i'm i don't even have my umbrella with me but i bet it i bet it'll rain on me that's uh that's how how accurate the weather dogs are but i i trusted them this time so i didn't bring anything with me um so this should be uh should be a good hike i mean but you can see it's very pretty i mean if you wanted to come here and just ride a bicycle which i might do sometime i'm i'm not sure i'll get the whole hike in i've i've hiked it to the left and the, the, the paved trail does end right at the florida trail and we'll get that on the video and then of course it goes up this way okay uh to a bridge that goes over top of the river uh and we'll get that on the video and uh that's where i've stopped i've never gone any further than that um so this should be a good day you know I plan on being here all day. Uh, I had to get out. You know, I, I could, I, of course I got to get the phone taken care of. And of course I got to pack. You see, here's, a, here's another bench. I don't know what this is. It just looks to me like a swamp. <laughs> but, but there's a bench where you could come and, and another trash can with lots of trash in it. So it looks like it's pretty popular. And, and then, of course, you got these signs. Uh, let's see, the uh, clusters. A small purple berry-like fruits that give plants the name are eaten by many birds, including mockingbirds, robins, catbirds, and thrashers. It's usually found in woodland opens or sunny edges. And so that's the bush there. So uh, we're just going to kind of... And, and it's nice. they got little signs along here. Uh, and you can just stop and read them. Um, you know, the first time I found this, it was because I went had to go to the Toyota dealer. Uh, because I was having that problem with the uh, the radio going in and out and it was driving me crazy I'll just get this on the video I'm not gonna read it to you so here you go you can uh, you can pause right there and that's that's what it looks like I guess that's a southern magnolia uh, <laughs> you know I, I always see stuff like this <laughs> why why is there a, a fence right there what are they scared that somebody's going to try to jump in i don't know you know i you, you gotta wonder what the purpose of that is so uh but yeah we're just we're just kind of oh, oh and there's another one <laughs> i you know whatever i guess uh there's there's some purpose for that i have no idea um but uh let's uh and i this why well, you know what let's just do this i have not done this before because i stayed on the paved trail let's do this uh pond trail pond trail sand hill loop trail now why the <laughs> why they got trail in this you know i just don't want to get eaten by the bugs but we'll go up here a ways and uh, if it if it gets long in the hair i you know, I'm, I'm still scratching the bites from the big bass campground that I showed you guys before. But uh, it's just kind of parallel and looks like the, the bike path over here. But we'll go a ways down in here. Uh, and there's another trash can. Boy, they, and you know, there's a lot of trash in these trash cans. I mean, you can tell this park gets a lot of use. So uh, we'll, go, we'll go a ways along this and just see what we see. All right, let's... Uh, Let's cut it off there. If I see something interesting, uh, we'll uh, we'll cut the uh, the video back on. Um, well, here's another couple of signs uh, coming up. Well, let's get those on the video. I, you know, like I said, this is uh, it's just a nice place to visit, uh, especially if you live in the villages or uh, 
or Ocala, you know, just come to straight down 484. Uh, and if you got a motorcycle, it's a nice ride. Um, so Red Maple, and I'll let you read that on your own. Huh. Okay, and uh, we'll just keep going. Yeah, it's getting kind of muddy. I'm, I'm going to get over on the bike path. It's just been too much rain to, for me to be hiking a, 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 an actual trail. Um, this, is, this is another sign. You can read about that, and that's what it looks like. Well, I think I got those behind my house. All right, so uh, we're, we're, we're not going to do the pond trail today. It's just too wet. We've had just so much rain. And I'm tired, I'm tired of scratching the bug bites and I'm just not ready for a uh, another rough day. I, I just wanted a nice easy day on a paved trail. Um, but so you can see now you, we've got, uh, here in Central Florida, you've got the Santos Trail, which is a paved trail to, to go hiking or biking on. And then you've got the Invernus, which we've done some of that in a previous video lot more to do uh, so we'll, we'll be heading back there now that I get 133 miles to the gallon in my car and I can just throw the bike in the back of the car so that's going to be rather convenient uh, of course I still got the motorcycle getting 100 miles to the gallon that's why I can strike out and do these things you know I'm, I'm encouraging you you know I saw today uh, what was it three uh, 315 a gallon here in Florida I don't know what it's like for you. Uh, Biden, he's gonna get those prices up to $6 a gallon. You know, I keep predicting that. I keep throwing it out on the videos. Uh, nobody listens to me. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, I'm just, I'm just telling you, you gotta get you some gas sippers. Or, you know, and I can't recommend a Tesla. I mean, they're just too darn expensive. Uh, and and be restricting yourself to just an a electric only vehicle. Um, you know, if the power goes out, you're screwed, right? So I, I just, uh, that's why I like the Toyota Prius Prime. It's a gas slash electric, you know, slash hybrid vehicle. Uh, and so, you know, if the power goes out, I still got the gas. And if the uh, gas stops pump or gets up to $6 a gallon, I still got the electric, you know, so it's the best of all worlds in my mind. Uh, now, can you buy them now? I don't know, man. The, 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 the new car market is going sky high. Uh, I, and of course, there's a shortage all the way around on vehicles, uh, and the used car prices have gone way the hell up. You know, thanks, thank, thank, thank Biden, thank Biden. You know, he's going to get those gas, those car prices. You know, we got to get these, uh, uh, the new green deal, baby, the new green deal. So I just kind of wanted to show you what this looks like, and uh, when I get down to the uh, where this intersects with the Florida trail, I've actually, I think. I may be on the Florida Trail. If I see an orange mark, I'll uh, I'll get that on the video. Because down here, it definitely runs into the Florida Trail heading back towards uh, the Pruitt Trailhead. And you know, the goal uh, is to hike all 1,400 miles. Oh, check that out. That was a, that was a, a, I couldn't tell. I think that was a hawk that just flew by. Wow, that's, a, that's the beauty of being out here, you know, the stuff that you see. Um, so, like I said, we'll make a whole day out of it. Let's keep going. So I just thought I'd get this on the video because <laughs> it cracks me up sometimes. I, you know, I'll, I'll try to take this road on my way out because it looks like it goes, pavement ends. I'm not sure what's down there, but we're going we're gonna to try to find out. But of course the sign says no motor vehicles. And then uh, <laughs> you come up, <laughs> speed limit 20 miles an hour. I mean, I guess there's people that can pedal faster than 20 miles an hour on a bicycle, but I mean, do you really need <laughs> the speed limit sign <laughs> on a trail where no motor vehicles are allowed? I mean, I don't know, you know, but this is the crazy shit I see when I go out hiking, you know, and uh, you, you just uh, the, uh, the craziness of people. Uh, is uh it just uh, amazes me uh but uh we'll we'll get some more footage here when we get to the uh the florida trail but i 
I was just wanted to show you that because it does crack me up, man. I <laughs> speed limit 20 miles an hour. <laughs> well, I, well, maybe if I was the Flash, I could get up above 20 miles an hour. I don't know, you know. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe there's going to be a nuclear explosion and I'll be irradiated and uh, become a, a sprinter of incredible speed. You never know. You never know about these things. But I uh, just wanted to get that road back there because I'm going to try to find that on my way out. I just want to see where it goes, you know. So sometimes my curiosity gets the best in me. Um, but uh, we'll just keep on going. But you can kind of see it's a wonderful place to come and ride a bicycle if you want to be on a paved trail. I mean, uh, this time of the year, everything is uh, very, very, very wet. It rained all day yesterday. Uh, we finally have some dry weather coming and I, I shouldn't complain because uh, we have had droughts here in Florida and, and things catching on fire, you know, and, uh, uh, but we do, we do fire management very well here in Florida. You know, unlike that uh, Democrat state, California, <laughs> the idiots in charge of that are grifting off of the taxpayers and uh, uh, none of that money goes for forest management. They just pocket it and, uh, and go to French restaurants. But, uh, all right, so let's, uh, let's keep on going. Uh, but uh, you know, I just did, I just had to get that on the video, so we're just gonna walk on down here. I I just want to show you where this portion of the trail ends, okay? Because it's not too far from where we started at the beginning, uh, and then uh, I'll show. Well, we'll hike a little ways up on the Florida Trail. But like I said, I'm not gonna get eaten alive today. Um, you know, I'm I don't have my hiking pants on and my hiking shoes. You know, I just wanted to come out here and hike this paved trail and uh, and show you. You know that this is available it's up here in Dunledden. Uh, I haven't seen the town per se I've just kind of driven through it on 484 uh, but when I came across this park I knew I knew I had to come back here and uh, make a video and so that's what today is all about and uh, thank God I got the GoPro because like I said the uh, the phone now is back back to the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is back to welcome to Bixby Welcome to Bixby. <laughs> what the hell is Bixby? <laughs> I don't know what brainchild at Samsung put that on the phone, but I'm going to tell you what, don't ever, ever buy a Samsung phone, at least now, until they, they get this welcome to Bixby problem solved, and uh, you'll certainly hear all about that. All right, so let's just keep on going, and uh, I'll show you the end of the trail on this side, and then, of course, i got to hike back this way, so I won't be getting any video on the way back. And then we'll get up to the, the bridge on the river and we'll get a video there. And that's as far as I've gone. So we'll go on beyond that. Uh, I have no idea how long this, this bike path is it's going the other direction. I know this direction, what, how far it goes. And I haven't seen any orange markers to show that I'm on the Florida Trail. Uh, but it seems to me that I am because we're going to run into it up here. And... Uh, I'll keep an eye out and let you know. And I'm hoping we're knocking out another portion of the Florida Trail on the videos here, because uh, that's the goal. We're gonna do all 1,500 miles of the Florida Trail eventually. Uh, now that I got a car getting 75 slash 133 miles to the gallon, and I got uh, the motorcycle getting 100 miles to the gallon, we can really strike out and do a lot of trails here in Florida. Uh, so uh, it's gonna be fun. And the winter's coming, you know, once, a, once my trip is over with up to Virginia, uh, I can't wait to get back here and just, and just start doing this, uh, for, you know, for fun. I mean, this is, this is to me is probably the most fun you can have in life. You know, just come out here on a nice day. Uh, the weather is just fabulous. We are just getting to the point here in Florida. I mean, this is the time you want to be here. October, November, December, January, February, March, and even April, okay? Those are the months uh, that you want to be in Florida. You know, the summer, you know, it, it's been rough. And you've seen my videos and, uh, you know, it, 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 this is probably the rainiest summer that I can recall. I've only been here three years. Um, 2017 is when we arrived. So, well, four years, I guess. So, hey, by the way, you know, I yesterday, well, I don't, I don't want to say... Uh, I had a birthday here recently. Let's uh, let's just put it that way. I don't want to give up personal information. And I'm 58 years old now. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> I mean, I'm an old dude, man. I'm an old dude. Oh man, something was over there. All right, so let's keep going. Well, I thought I'd get this on the video. You know, you can see that they're just talking about the uh, 
the Dunlodden Trail here. Oh, there's the Pruitt Trailhead. So we got a hike. Uh, we've already got some of this knocked out. And we are here. I think I got to about right here to on the Florida Trail. So we're going to knock it to this way. There's the bridge I was talking about. Uh, we're going to hike back there. Uh, so, uh, boy, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it, uh, it looks interesting. There's the, the state trail, Gulf Junction. So I guess we got a lot to, to do, but I'll let you read this on your own. Uh, just pause right there. And then we have uh, this over here. Uh, where progress meets preservation. Imagine a 200 mile, oh, yeah, it's talking about the, the channel across the, so uh, they always have that. I think, I think we may be coming up on the end of the trail here where it intersects with the Florida Trail. I'll get a I'll get another video when we get there, or another clip, I guess I should say. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm coming to the end of this portion of the trail. Uh, well, it looks like you could drive a car back in here and park here. I, well, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I I guess that's a road up here. Okay, well, let's just keep on going. So this is uh, I wanted to. Whoops. Wanted to get this on the uh, video. Cross Greenway, the Dunmun Trailhead, one, two, three, three, four South Bird Bridges or Bridges Road. Okay, and there is a Florida Trail sign right up here. So we just hiked a portion of the Florida Trail, even though I didn't see any orange markers. And the reason I knew I was on the Florida Trail was well, see the uh, the orange markers here. Now you can see how it, it's in need of maintenance. And I'm not going to really go up in here. I'll just kind of show you, um, you know, because I'm tired of being eaten. Man, I tell you, I got sugar bites and flea bites all over me. Um, but this would be, this would be the trail when a trail crew comes back in here and can work on it. Uh, and it would be fun this winter, um, assuming a trail crew comes back here. And uh, we could attack the uh, Florida Trail from this side. And hike back towards Pruitt. Of course, I still got to get the portion of the Florida Trail from Pruitt back to um, uh, uh, Ross Prairie. Um, so we got we still got to knock that out. But uh, you know, you can see I'm 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 attacking the trail from both sides. Uh, I'm going to try to find this road on the motorcycle on the way out because I would much rather come down this road if I ever just want to come and do some hiking. You know, come down this road and just park right here in this empty parking lot. It's a lot safer. You know, I I hope my helmet will still be there. I had to leave the helmet on the outside because I had uh, I had stuff in the carrier that I picked up at the grocery store, and uh, um, you know, it's just the nature of the beast. Uh, and this is pretty cool. I mean, look at these rocks that surround the area. And by the way, you know, Porta John, <laughs> always looking. Always looking for it, so you know, we, so we really can't get out into the forest per se, but at least we we have knocked out another portion of the Florida Trail, and the only reason that I know is right up here on this post, it says Florida Trail. So let's keep on going. Okay. Here we go, folks. I just chased away two Democrats, and I'm out here with uh, a MAGA hat. I, I didn't even notice it. Holy moly, this is fantastic. All right, you guys. Here we go. So I wanted to get this on the video because when you come down the main entrance there and make a right, oh, you see you got a nice bench to sit on here. And uh, you really, they really just put this in in the middle of a swamp. And it's just beautiful. I mean, look around. Isn't that uh, just amazing? So I really, I have hiked through here before, but I wanted to show you what I'm seeing. And I wanted to tell a story, okay? So the the guy with the MAGA hat, turns out, uh, I, I talked to his sister a long time, and I'm gonna give a shout out. She wanted me to give a shout out on the YouTube channel for uh, whoever, Mark Mallet, M-A-R-K, Mark, M-A-L-L-E-T-T. Whoever that is, I'm gonna look him up on YouTube. She told me to be sure and watch him. So I'll check him out. 
and uh, we had a good long conversation but I'm I'm wondering if I was guided into that conversation wow look at this isn't that just amazing holy moly but anyway he's uh, he's like a buddy of mine he's got a, a bum leg and uh, they've been telling him he needs to get surgery and uh, he's been real hesitant to do it you know and I told him I said well you got to do it you know I mean I I've been I've been under the knife uh, 16 times you know I've been on the operating table 16 times and uh, you know I said uh, I said but uh, be sure and find the biggest prick asshole doctor <laughs> that you can find because <laughs> he's no longer uh, cutting on people because I think he moved to, to Peru or something Dr. Chang I'll give him a shout out Dr. Chang he was a the biggest prick asshole you could ever meet well actually there was another doctor that was even worse than him and uh, but I tell you what as a surgeon he was amazing and uh, he, he uh, he stitched me. I can't imagine. I mean, you know, I always wonder what goes through a surgeon's mind. You know, like how many times do I have to cut on this man? Because <laughs> I was, I was under his knife like every other week. You know, I mean, it was insane. But, uh, but yeah, and uh, and he had no bedside personality. In fact, most of the time he wouldn't even talk to me. He would just talk right over me, and uh, or he talked to the nurse or whoever was in the room. He was a he was a son of a bitch. I'll tell you that right now. And that's you know that's why I like Trump. Trump was a real son of a bitch. <laughs> you know, do you, and so my question to you is this. Do you want a good surgeon with no personality who's a prick? Or do you want a surgeon who's nice to you who doesn't know what he's doing? <laughs> you make your own choice. I'll take the prick asshole over the uh, surgeon that doesn't know what he's doing any day of the week. So that's it. I, I just, uh, we'll pause here for just a second. I just kind of want you to see it. See how it just kind of goes back into the forest there? Absolutely beautiful. So we're, we'll get the next video at the river. And uh, I haven't seen too many people here, you know, so it's, I'm pretty, uh, pretty alone other than the two people I bumped into. And then, of course, I bumped into, check out the bird. Can you see him? Yeah, we got the birds here in Florida. But anyway, I did meet these two Democrats, and I was telling them, I said, uh, and they called that January 6th an insurrection. <laughs> I said, nobody even had a gun. What are you talking about? You know, that's what, the, that's what an insurrection is to a Democrat. All right, so, boy, that is a cool-looking bird, isn't it? Look at him. He's, well, see, what they're doing, he's doing, he's drying, he's drying his wings. Ah, that's crazy. All right, let's continue on. So I wanted to get this on the video. And I'm going to pull one of these pamphlets out. But boy, if you came to Florida, this is the Rainbow Rivers Club, members and guests only. And uh, I've been told by the locals here, well, it, I don't think it's cheap, but it'd be a wonderful place to visit and maybe stay for a couple of nights. I, it's pretty close to my house. I mean, well, I shouldn't say that close. And uh, it'd be fun to come in here. Let's, uh, let's see what the brochure has to say. Uh, I'll put it back when I'm done. The Rainbow Rivers Club. Uh, they got cabin cabin rentals. I was right. Uh, snowbird rentals, swimming pool, pontoon boat rentals, Rainbow River access, private fishing pond. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, bring your own boat, uh, 55 acre nature preserve, hiking, biking trails. Yeah, clubhouse rental. So we'll put it back. Uh, boy, that'd be this would be a nice place to visit. All right. I wanted to get this on the video because uh, we finally found our way to the bridge I was telling you about. Look at this architecture. Isn't that incredible? I just think it's cool, you know. And uh, so you kind of come up on this bridge and uh, um, did meet two people and they were telling me uh, that this is going to join the bike path that goes all the way to Inverness. Um, eventually, I don't know, I guess they're working on it. Man, I tell you, here in Florida we got it all. And uh, it's, it's, it's going to be over uh, like 150 miles of um, biking now I don't think all of it's paved and I have yet to do all of Inverness and we're gonna go back there that's on my uh, my bucket list for sure um, but you could see the you know we're coming up on the bridge let's just take a look over the over the thing here man doesn't that make you want to get a fishing pole out oh my god so and uh, you can see the Sun Woohoo! So we're just going to hike out here on the bridge. There's a little observation areas, a couple of them, and we'll hit them here. Uh, I'm telling you, 
we got it all here we got it all this is uh absolutely fabulous absolutely fabulous uh let's just kind of hike out into the, the little observation area here look at that that's the river man absolutely beautiful isn't it look at the water flowing can you imagine being out there in a nice uh, canoe or a kayak i tell you it makes me want to get one but i i got too much stuff already between the motorcycle and the new car you know there's only so much money you can spend plus how would i get it out here you know maybe throw it in the back of the prius or something you know what i thought about there is a um uh there's this um and i, I gotta look into it oh no fishing, no jumping, no diving. <laughs> I don't think I would uh, dive off of this bridge, but uh, you know, back in the day when I was young and stupid, I might jump off of it though. I don't know how deep that water is. Um, so, but uh, the problem is, where would you get out? I don't know water without getting eaten by a gator. I don't know. I, I was so good. Uh, here we go. This is uh, the Withla Coochie River. And you can read that on your own. Uh, oh, Wicklacoochee River, how I would love to know what causes you to northward flow. Are you out perhaps to expose the flaws of gravity or even higher laws? Or could it be you've lost the key to nature's and your own immortality and have decided thus to wayward run like the anxious moon from the rising sun? I too seek to find my own way as if under your dark meandering sway so many times i tread your course driven like you by a hidden force through wild and swampy wilderness you at times will higher banks caress deluge the woods with dampened kiss and share with the cypress your earthly bliss untamed but gentle with where wily otters splash alligators below with each and other clash the red birds sing to warn me his friend and i'll let you finish it off Check it out, man. We got a boat coming. Let's get out on the observation here and watch him go by. Yeah. Woohoo! Boy, that would be fun, wouldn't it? God, I miss the days when I had my own boat. So then let's wave to them, see if they wave back. Yeah, they wave to me. Woohoo! All right. I remember the days. There they go. Going down the river. All right, so we're gonna we're just gonna go another. Uh, but there's supposed to be a parking lot up here. It's 0.7 miles away, and then I got to turn around and head on. I don't. I want. I can't ride home in the dark. You know, it's a it's a long ride back on the motorcycle, and uh, last thing I want to be is in the dark. But let's get one last look at the river. You can see where the boat went by. All right, let's keep on going. Oh, well, while we're hiking along, I just wanted to show you a little more of the trail. We're past the bridge now, and of course I'm seeing this for the first time with you. And uh, you know, I just thought I'd tell a Dr. Chang story since I got started on that topic. And uh, I remember uh, uh, when my bowels perforated from the uh, chemotherapy. And uh, of course, I, it took, I, I've given that story, I think, in a past video. But uh, you know, I was curled up on the ball and in the um, emergency room. And uh, they were trying to find out what drugs I had taken, oh, it was back in my cancer stories. I told that whole story, and you'll have to go back and watch that video. But uh, but anyway, I didn't tell the Dr. Chang side of the story. So I remember, you know, once I got the morphine in me, you know, I'm thinking, well, maybe I'm going to be all right. You know, maybe I was just a false alarm. Because, boy, I tell you, that morphine, whoo, I could see where people can get addicted to that. <laughs> it was, uh, I was flying high, baby. <laughs> but I, uh, so he, to tell you what an asshole Dr. Chang was, you know, he comes in. And uh, he says, uh, he says, well, you know, well, uh, when, when can we get Mr. Ellis down to the operating room? And like, probably get him down there as soon as we can. And, uh, and of course, he's not talking to me, you know. And I'm just like, what the hell is he talking about, you know? And he, he says, and then so he walks over to me, and you know, his bedside manner. He just goes, he says, well, uh, Mr. I don't think he even called me Mr. Ellis. He goes, I'm going to cut you. I'm going to cut you from the belly button down to your scrotum. And he says, I'll pull your intestines out and we'll try to figure out where the uh, perforation in your, your intestines is. And uh, he says, and then I'll stuff them back in you and we'll stitch you back up. 
And, uh, and then he left the room. <laughs> and of course, you know, I'm horrified. I'm like, oh my God. I mean, you know, and that's, that was his bedside manner. I mean, you know, and I'm thinking, holy shit. So anyway, they, you know, they, they came in and, uh, you know, they took me down to the emergency room. And of course, now, now this is after the, the aftermath, you know. So uh, I'm laying in the bed and of course they got the tube down my throat. They're pumping my stomach. Cause of course, you know, we don't want anything in my intestines at this point. Cause he just stitched them back together. And uh, so, uh, and by the way, that's a, I'm gonna tell you what, man, that is one painful. That's why, you know, in these movies where they stab a person in the gut or they get shot in the gut, you, you're not going nowhere. I'm gonna tell you what, I, there's nothing more painful than that, you know, gut wound. But anyway, uh, so uh, he comes in the room and he, he goes, oh, looks like you're doing pretty good. He says, odds are though, those stitches probably won't hold and I'll have to have you back on the operating table here soon. He says, but uh, we'll, see what, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And then he walks out of the room. <laughs> and you know, now I'm horrified again. I'm thinking, oh my God, you know, now he's gonna, he's gonna cut me open again and pull my intestines out again, you know? Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, that's a, but that's just kind of the way he was, man. I mean, you know, he just, Matter of fact, you know, no, no bedside manner, no nothing. Biggest prick asshole you could ever want to meet, but uh, one hell of a surgeon, I'll tell you that, because guess what? He did not have to cut me open again. He was just, you know, laying the groundwork in case I, he had to, you know. I guess he felt like he was doing the right thing, warning me that uh, I'd probably be back on the operating table again soon. <laughs> you know? But anyway, I just wanted to tell a Dr. Chang story because I don't think I got that in the uh, cancer videos if you ever go back and watch those. I, I put those up a long time back. And, uh, but you can see, man, this is beautiful. Now, supposedly we're gonna come up on another parking area. And uh, so next time I come back, we'll park in this parking area and I uh, am continue on down the trail because I got to turn back I'm getting really tired and I got a ride I got a long ride going back and I've, I've learned not to get too tired and ride that motorcycle because you get kind of wobbly you know and uh, it's uh, that's one disadvantage to riding the motorcycle rather than driving the Prius so although I can take either because I'm getting uh, basically well, about the same gas mileage in both now. I mean, you think about it, 100 miles to the gallon in both. And uh, so, uh, but I mean, you know, it's, uh, you can't, you can't just wear yourself thin and try to ride a motorcycle, you know, as, as far as I rode. I mean, it was, a, it was a long ride to get out here. And I'm looking forward to the ride back. I'm gonna tell you, if you wanna live free and be happy, get you a motorcycle, man, you know. That's, uh, and they say, oh, you're gonna kill yourself. You're gonna kill yourself. Well, maybe so. At least I'll die happy. You know what I mean? You know, how many of you are locked down in your houses in Democrat states and uh, are miserable, you know? Or are you just playing video games or whatever? At least I'm out here free and flying, flying high, baby. They call it the uh, endorphins, I suppose. And uh, I don't know if we'll make this parking lot because I, I, I'm thinking just about turning back right here. I was hoping to make that parking lot, but uh, see, look, this is what I was talking about, that but baseline, uh, we're a long ways from there, but I mean, you can see this at this time of the year, it's, this is when it really gets beautiful here in Florida. See how everything's blooming, and you got all these flowers uh, along the trail here, and the, uh, that's another reason I got to get on the road, the sun's going down. I talked to those people, the MAGA, the MAGA hat people too long, uh, I shouldn't have uh, taken such a long break. But I was enjoying the conversation. It's always nice to meet somebody, you know, when you're out hiking like this. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's, we'll cut the video off there. I might get one more clip. I don't know how much further I'm going to go, but uh, I'm pretty tired at this point. I think it's uh, it's going to be time to turn back here soon. And uh, I don't know. I really want to see this other parking area so I know where to go. Uh, I, I imagine it's just off of 484. I don't know. You know, it's, it's hard to say. There's another thing, uh, you know, about this trail that's nice. You know, you got benches where you can uh, bring an apple or an orange or whatever and just kind of sit and, and enjoy nature, you know. That's, uh, that's always good to have the benches now. I'd rather have a shelter. Oh, we got somebody coming up, so I'm going to cut it off now. All right. All right, that's, uh, that's going to be it for today. Well, you could come back here and just hike around, you know. And uh, boy, isn't this a nice touch? There's a portage on right here, which I'm gonna avail myself of. And uh, so next time I come, you know, at least I know where I stopped at the portage on. And of course there's a nice trash can here. And it looks like uh, maybe a trail 
going back this way. That'd be a fun day. Just come back and hike through here. Just see where that goes. So you can see, you know, we, we got a we got a few more days here hiking around. It's a haul. It's a haul getting here. You know, if you didn't have a hundred mile of the gallon uh motorcycle or car, you know, you're gonna spend some money getting here from the villages, but uh it's very nice and, and just the fact that they have a portage on i think that's pretty cool so anyway uh i'm gonna head on back and uh well this should be it for the day uh well we're gonna we're gonna ride around a little bit on the motorcycle try to take those roads up there and uh, maybe i'll ride down a ways and see if i can find this other parking lot i, I don't remember seeing it so who knows and uh we got to do the mantra freedom to be in a Republican state under the leadership of DeSantis. So I'm on my way back. I didn't get this on the way out, but I wonder how far back that goes. That'd be kind of a cool hike, just a hike by the uh, the wires here. And you can see there's a there's a power station right here that uh, it looks like they got it cut down really well. That'd be fun. All right, that's, uh, that should be it for this video. I just thought I'd get that on there because, you know, that's two hikes right there. You know, go by the power lines or go down there by the port uh, You know, so you can see, and of course we got the pond trail, which I didn't do today. Uh, you know, I'm gonna wait until things uh, dry out. Uh, by the way, we got about three or four dry days coming up. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I assume we'll get another hike in before I get on the road. Uh, uh, unfortunately, like I said, the phone is, doing the welcome to Bixby thing again. So I'm gonna run it into the Samsung store and talk to them about it and see if uh, maybe I'll just send that phone back and just uh, order a Pixel. That's kind of, that's kind of where I am. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just to the point where I just want to take that Samsung and just uh, tell them, you know, take it back, take it back. I don't want it no more. You know, although I love the camera, I love the camera. It's just, they ruined it with that uh, Bixby crap. All right, so that's it for this video for sure. And I already did my mantra. Peace out. Weird stuff on the video. Because <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't you think it's weird? I mean, what is the purpose of this fence out in the middle of the woods? I mean, it looks nice. I mean, it's pretty cool. And uh, But I mean, I can't imagine spending the money to put it up. I mean, what do they think? Somebody's going to dive down into the woods here I mean but it, you know it, it would make sense I guess if the fence with the whole length of the trail or something but what is the point here <laughs> it just I don't I get it well maybe there's something that I'm missing you know maybe let's take a look I, I I don't know it's just more swamp I mean what are they afraid somebody's gonna walk over in there you know let's, let's check this side now there's a big hole over here I yeah maybe it's just sinkhole you know I mean you fall down in there you might not ever come back no it's just a well I guess it's a drainage you know, I guess when they put the drain in, they, they felt like they needed a fence here. I I don't know. It's uh, To me, it's just kind of bizarre. I always try to get the weird shit, you know. All right. What the hell? Let's get the bridge from the other side. I just wanted to show you that the architecture is the same on this side as it is on the other side. Look at this. I mean, and you got the swamp here. Absolutely beautiful. What a trail, you know. Uh, you know, I know there's a lot of people moving to Florida, but they they've done a good job now What is that? I'm seeing I guess somebody's out there with a the dog So we'll cut the video off right there. You've already seen the river But I just wanted to show you the architecture from the other side. Absolutely gorgeous <laughs>